Today we're going to focus on the steps of pruning a lace leaf Japanese maple. In summer we focus more on thinning and opening up the tree. It's easy to see dead wood versus live wood. Uh, winter time is more for big structural pruning. We represent the pruning team here at InHarmony. We have three certified arborists on staff right now and we take great pride in the pruning work that we do. We prune ornamental trees, we prune fruit trees, shrubs, and we take the time to do it right. Hi, I'm Alan. I've been with InHarmony for five and a half years. Hi, my name's Graham. I've been with InHarmony for 12 years. Jason, I've been with InHarmony for seven years. And I'm Ben, and I've also been with InHarmony for seven years. Overall, we're pruning for the health of the tree. A tree that is allowed to grow into its natural form is a beautiful tree. Often we come into trees that have been malpruned for many years, and we will take an approach to get it back into its natural form. We follow pruning guidelines set out by ISA, which is the International Society of Arboriculture, and Plant Amnesty, which is a local nonprofit dedicated to plant health. The trees are in good hands with InHarmony. Today we're going to focus on the initial steps of pruning, which is looking for dead, diseased, and broken branches. So when I approach a Japanese maple, the first thing I'm looking for is the deadwood, and I'm going to remove all the deadwood from this tree. So one of the diseases that we look for on a Japanese maple is verticillium, and one of the signs of verticillium is a black stain on the branch, and then also how this leaf here is losing chlorophyll. So we're going to go ahead and remove this branch. Here we have a crossing branch, and when I come to a crossing branch, I'll evaluate whether or not we want to remove it. You don't remove every single crossing branch on a tree like this because you may end up with some big holes that you don't want. This one, as I look to where the branches go, it will make too big of a hole in the canopy of the tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this for a couple years. Here we've got some smaller crossing branches, and we're gonna open this area up. When cr branches cross, their foliage becomes tangled, the tree will eventually shut off energy to these branches. Finally, we'll look at pruning the overall shape of the tree for aesthetics. So some of the areas in this tree are pretty dense. And when you get density like this, you'll get dead foliage and dead branches. And so one of the techniques that we use is called layering. And what we're gonna do is open it up so that light can reach in and fill in live foliage back here in the inside of the canopy. So I'm gonna remove a few key branches. And then this little guy that's hanging off over here. So what that's done is it's opened up a little window. So again, I'm gonna talk a little bit about this layering that we do. And what I wanna do is open up some air between these two layers of trees. And the reason why we do that is to allow more light and air to enter the canopy and encourage more foliage to develop inside. And with just a few cuts, you can see the branch structure inside the tree starts to develop and more light penetrating the inside of the canopy. A lot of times when I approach a tree, uh, I think about it with at least a five-year plan. Like, what's this going to do in five years? And while we've been maintaining the size of this branch, it still is running out of room in the back of the canopy as far as light coming in from the top. So part of developing this tree is we want to encourage more interior branching so that it can still fit in place uh, for another 20, 30 years. We have this small branch here that we are developing to eventually become a bigger branch that's gonna fill in this space right here. So eventually we can remove this branch. Sometimes homeowners need their tree to fit in a particular space and we'll work with their needs to get it to fit, but we will talk to the homeowner about the best way to keep the tree healthy and fit in the space. A healthy tree is a beautiful tree. 